Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Hyphenate here, and today I'm gonna show you guys an awesome new feature that got introduced in DaVinci Resolve 20.3. It's called Insert Gap, and you can find it in the Edit tab. With this, wherever your playhead is at, it'll split all clips and ripple the entire timeline to the right, creating a gap. So for example here, if we go to Edit, Insert Gap towards the bottom, let me zoom out, you'll see this gap got introduced here, and it'll split all the tracks where the playhead is, unless they're locked. So for example, let's lock the audio track here, go back to Edit, Insert Gap, it did the cut, created the gap, and rippled the entire timeline to the right. Let me undo that. Now if you wanna add Insert Gap as a keyboard shortcut all you have to do is go to davinci resolve on the top left corner go down to keyboard customization you can search here on the middle right and type in insert gap you'll find it under the edit command and then go ahead and assign your keyboard shortcut i'm going to go ahead and use alt g save so now on the edit page wherever my playhead is on the timeline i can press my keyboard shortcut you saw I did the split and created the gap now if you have that in between clips obviously it won't split any clips it'll just create the gap now if you're wondering about the space the amount of time in the gap that is is dictated by your default still duration, which is actually something I don't like. So if DaVinci Resolve, you're watching this, please change this and add a new feature in the options to allow us to choose the insert gap timing. To change the default time, currently we have to change that here on the top left corner, click on DaVinci Resolve, go to preferences, we're gonna go to user, then go to editing, scroll down to general settings, and you'll see standard still duration. I have mine set to 20 seconds. Now this is my preferred time for when I insert stills into a timeline. So I actually find it kind of annoying that I can't change the insert gap time separately. I would much rather have that be at five seconds while still allowing me to keep my still duration what it is. So again, DaVinci, please just add for the insert gap duration. So if you wanna insert a gap that doesn't abide by the default duration, and you wanna specifically choose the gap time, press the plus symbol on your keyboard, which selects the time code, and then using the numbers, you can choose the duration that you want. Let's say we wanted to move it one second and 12 frames. One, one, two. Once you've typed it in with this box still selected, just press the key command. And you'll see right here, it is exactly one second and 12 frames. On this channel, I do have a DaVinci Resolve playlist with a lot more tutorials, so make sure to check that out. Hopefully this video helped you. If it did, please drop a like on this video, drop a comment below if you have any questions, and please make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.